Now, your Central Coast forecast from KSBW Weather. Busy day at the boardwalk. This is a live view from Sky Cam 8 at the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. Beautiful clear skies, nice cooler conditions. A lot of people coming down from San Jose, from the Bay Area to get out of that heat. You know, I was driving in from from Monterey region to Salinas as my commute. And it was a pretty straight shot from my house to my work. But the traffic going the opposite direction, bumper to bumper, a lot of people trying to avoid that heat by going to places like the Central Coast where we have these cooler temperatures. 65 degrees in Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz 80% humidity across the Central Coast, very different temperatures. 99 right now in Gilroy, in the 80s down the Salinas Valley, but on the coast, a nice cool mid 60s, a pleasant day at the shore. So just wildly different conditions depending on where you are. Taking a look at the 24 hour temperature change, you can see it's warmer for the most part, again, with the exception being the immediate coastline, which is pretty standard temperatures for this time of day and for this time of year. So the heat wave that's impacting not just California, the central coast, but all of California isn't really impacting the immediate coastline here. You can see from our satellite that the clouds did break for much of Santa Cruz and we saw some breakage in Monterey throughout the day, but they did definitely hang around the southern portion of the Monterey Bay and the high temperatures today. It was set by Gilroy 102 degrees, got nearly to 100 degrees in King City and did break into the hundreds in parts of the Santa Cruz Mountains as well. So just a hot day across the board and across the state. We've been keeping our eyes on Death Valley. They were trying to go for the record of hottest day. They didn't quite reach it. They missed it by about five degrees. But tomorrow they're expected to reach upwards of 126 degrees. If they go above that, reach 131, that will be officially the hottest day on Earth. Because of that, there will be heat alerts Tomorrow, even on the Central Coast, everywhere in purple that you can see is an excessive heat warning. Orange means it's only heat advisory, but it's still going to be hot. So tomorrow is going to be a day where you should be looking after the people in your community, your neighbors, your friends. If you know people that are in these hot areas, that maybe don't have someone else, check in on them, make sure they're doing okay, especially considering that people in California don't usually have air conditioning. It's all the more important to make sure that everyone is doing okay during this period. In terms of sky coverage tomorrow, it's very similar, similar to what we saw today. We'll see the clouds come in, but they'll break pretty quickly for the people inland and for the coast it's going to vary depending if you're on Monterey or Salinas but for the most part partly cloudy conditions. Forecast lows tonight hotter than usual still sticking into the 60s for much of the central coast but still pleasant conditions considering how hot it got today. For tomorrow on the coast keep in mind it's going to be pretty standard for this time of year but as you head inland we're pushing those triple digits once again. Very similar conditions. We are not out of the heat wave yet. Forecasted highs across the region, 90s for a lot of the inland communities, 70s for the ones closer to the coast, and 60s for the Monterey coastline. Taking a look at that eight day forecast, and you can see the coast does not change very much. We're sticking in those 70s, and it's gonna be pretty standard for this time of year. The big difference will be that drop down Sunday into Monday for our inland communities, dropping by about 10 degrees and getting out of those triple digits. Okay, well, tomorrow's gonna be another hot one, so we can probably expect the beaches to be crowded yeah. and the highway. Yeah, you know, it's a weekend. <laughs> There's still, we're still in the heat wave, but come Monday, we should be out of the worst of it. Exactly, and that bumper to bumper traffic? Yeah. I, I was in that. I was right, in that right. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much.